I arrived at Gosforth Hall late in the evening. It was a very dark night, but I could see there was a church with a cemetery next to the hotel. I checked in, and the receptionist gave me the key and showed me to my room. I left my things in the room and came downstairs. There weren't many guests. There were only three, including me. I sat in the sitting room, and I talked to the manager, Sarah Daniels, about her hotel. I had a drink, and at twelve I went upstairs to my room. Room eleven was on the top floor. I opened the door and turned on the light. It was a very big room, very old, and, yes, it was a bit spooky. There was an old television on a table, but there wasn't a remote control. I turned on the TV. There was a movie on. I was happy to see that it wasn't a horror movie. I decided to watch the movie and keep the light on all night. But I was tired after my long trip, and after half an hour, I went to sleep. In the middle of the night, I suddenly woke up. Oh! It was two o'clock. The television was off. But how? There was no remote control, and I certainly didn't get up and turn it off. The light was still on, but suddenly the light went off too. Now I was really frightened. I couldn't see anything strange, but I could feel that there was somebody or something in the room. I got out of bed and turned on the TV again. Little by little, I started to relax, and I went to sleep again. When I woke up, it was morning. I had breakfast, and I left the hotel about ten o'clock. So the question is, did you see the ghost? No, I didn't see the ghost, but I definitely felt something or somebody in the room when I woke up in the middle of the night. Were you frightened? Yes, I was. Very frightened. Would you like to spend another night in the hotel? Definitely, yes. Why? Well, I'm sure there was something strange in that room. I can't explain the television and the light. I want to go back because I want to see the ghost. <laughs>